When I don't know who I am, I serve you. When I know who I am, I am you. It's a powerful statement of philosopher Ram Das, and it embodies the key ideas of service and being. Hello, I'm W.J. O'Reilly, a write-in candidate for the current Board of Overseers election at Harvard this year. I'm thrilled to be part of this essential conversation about the policies and directions that shape the next decade and more for this illustrious institution. My work at Harvard in the past 15 years has been in the public service movement, begun around the time I first signed on to the New York City Area Committee of the Harvard College Center for Public Interest Careers. It is a groundbreaking initiative started by my mentor and friend, Nick Bielensen. In this work, I've had the honor to counsel many recent Harvard College graduates at the start of their service careers in media, education, and the law. To have been a part of this essential university movement is the privilege of a lifetime. In this spirit, I would like to address a rather simple existential idea that can have either dire or miraculous consequences in the life of a scholar, societal member, or corporate participant. It is the notion of being, doing, and having. As a 40 plus year Buddhist practitioner, I have gained a perspective on the motivators and lifestyles that create happiness or the lack of it. In our Harvard world, there is a monumental emphasis on doing and having, but a startling lack of awareness and commitment to the condition of being. If one were to use the word spirituality and beingness interchangeably, they wouldn't be wrong. I think the average person would say that if we devote ourselves to spirituality through meditation, philosophy, veganism, yoga, and the like, that we might better the quality of being in our lives. And I believe, and you may agree, that people pursue these practices in order to attain a higher sense of being. Renowned Harvard scholar and former Dean Harry Lewis's book, Excellence Without a Soul, made a case for reassessing the direction of Harvard, one that it was going in a number of years ago, uh, and also academia in general, stressing a rather abstracted attainment without pairing it with the qualities more akin to service, meaning, and ouch, even love. I say that the desocializing effects of COVID-19 paired with the messages of greed and ego and convoluted still further by the eschewing of personal contact between people brought on by the use of personal electronics and social media have delivered us to the doorstep of a social cataclysm that is manifesting itself in a plethora of personal and social disorders, suicide, depression, homicide, marginalizing of racial groups and gender groups, and still more sinister forms of social ennui are plaguing our main streets and yes, even the hallowed ivy-covered halls of Harvard. The quality of being needs addressing in the delivery of world-class educational institutions as these schools with Harvard in the lead are anointing the leaders of the future. Gifted with intellect and given the auspices that a Harvard degree represents, the product of our institution must possess the experience of service in order to hone their compassion, authenticity, shrink ego, and help people and the world in the ways it needs helping. Few things in life are guaranteed. The benefits of service may be the only exception. And this is why I am needed on this August panel. There has always been a strong emphasis on doing and having at Harvard. I hate to be the Debbie Downer on this one, but this may also be the seeds of its destruction. Everyone in our programs needs sustained and ongoing experiences of service in order to build empathy, awareness of others, to hone the MI, the multiple intelligences, according to Gardner, of interpersonal and intrapersonal intelligence and to grant us the balance of being that does not show up on CV the way doing and having tend to. So I'm running, but if you agree with me, you'll have to write me in too. But in so doing, you will be affirming the importance of being 
that if achieved will solve so many of our problems simply in the process of life itself. Thank you. I'm W.J. O'Reilly. Be well.